Hello everyone and welcome back to Canadian King Coins. In today's video, I'm going to show you the top 10 rare Canadian pennies to look out for. The pennies I've included in this list are all small cents, so from after 1920, and all of them could theoretically be found in circulation. So, starting off at number 10 on this list is the 1924 penny. With a mintage of only one and a half million, this coin is certainly a key date and can sell for about $20 in just VF condition. Number nine on our list is our first variety. The 1929 penny high nine variety. Partway through the year, the reverse was edited and the 9 in the date was moved a bit higher, resulting in this variety being worth about $40 in VF. Moving on to number 8, and we're getting back into the low mintage early 20s pennies. The 1922 had a mintage of 1.2 million, and can sell for around $45 in VF condition. Next up at number 7 is the 1925 penny. With a mintage of only 1 million, it is actually the lowest minted small cent Canada would ever produce, excluding varieties. An average 1925 penny in VF condition is worth about Number six on this list is actually the rarest Canadian penny I own, and it is the 1923 issue. With a mintage of only 1,019,000, it is slightly higher than the 1925, although less of them have survived to this day, and so it has remained the rarer of the two coins. A 1923 in VF condition will get you around $60. Changing things up a bit at the number 5 spot is another variety, a rather famous one too. The 2006 No P, No Logo Magnetic Penny. In 2006 there were 6 varieties, Plain, P Material Mark, and RCM Logo and magnetic and non-magnetic versions of all three. The plain and magnetic version is pretty rare, and can get you anywhere from $25 to $500 in mint state condition. Number four on this list is closely related to number five, but this time it's the 2006 P non-magnetic variety. This version can sell for anywhere between $100 and $700 in mint state condition. Moving on to number 3 on this list, we travel back to some older pennies, this time to 1954. In 1953, there were two obverse varieties for the new portrait of the Queen. The first was the low relief, no shoulder fold variety. Then came the higher relief, shoulder fold variety. Both versions were fairly common. but the next year, in 1954, a small number of mint sets included pennies struck from the rejected no shoulder fold obverse. Finding one of these would get you any from, anywhere from 700 to 1700 in mint state. Number two on this list is closely related to number three. In 1955, an even smaller number of pennies were struck using the rejected no shoulder fold obverse and this time, they entered circulation. This could be considered the rarest Canadian circulation penny ever, and finding one in VF condition could get you around $230, while a mint state example could be worth up to $7,500. 
Now, the final coin on this list, at the number one spot, is probably one you all saw coming. One of the most famous Canadian coins, the 1936 Dot Penny. When King George V died in early 1936, his son became Edward VIII. But on December 11th of that year, he abdicated the throne in favor of his brother, who became George VI. But there was a problem. The Royal Canadian Mint couldn't prepare new dies featuring George VI in time for the 1937 coinage, so instead, they added a small dot below the date to the 1936 dies. Almost 700,000 pennies were originally produced, but it is not believed that they ent ever entered circulation, and only six are known today. It's estimated that if one were sold today, it could be worth about $400,000. So there you have it, my top 10 list of the rarest Canadian pennies going by scarcity and value. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and let me know down below if you've ever had any of these coins. I'd love to hear about it. Consider subscribing for more videos like this in the future, or check out some of my other videos on this channel. And as always, have a great day.